All right, guys, it's the Bald Bearded Bicyclist. We are back at Intelligentsia. This was July of 2023, and this was our last race there. This was Friday, and I was in a bit of a weird mental space. We had to, I knew I had to get in the car and literally drive directly back to Buffalo after this race. And so the biggest thing on my mind was staying safe. Um, and it was so hot um, and on the line I realized that my power meter wasn't connecting and I was just kind of you know that really shouldn't throw you off just whatever just race your race um, but I was all in my head about it and uh, it was kind of just making me think that this wasn't my race and I just needed to make sure I kept things upright um, for the ride home to make sure okay, that I was safe. So if you can see in the top right corner, it's going to be zero of six laps, which means I did not finish this race. And this was the only intelligentsia race. I didn't do the complete full laps that everyone else did. I got a great start. And then I kind of cut off there as, uh, people closed, uh, they struggled to clip in. I can't really fault them. That was my deal. The whole beginning of the week, the one day I got a perfect clip in and uh the hole that i tried to go in just closed up so and i was really bummed about that and then right here there was almost a touch of wheels and everybody gets pushed wide and after that corner i'm already kind of mentally like all right i need to just stay safe this is a tough course because there is one really fast downhill uh, that turns and um everyone was kind of freaking out about it we were everyone was practicing and i guess in the field before us somebody went right off the corner and slammed into a tree um and so you know taking it by myself i was like i mean it's not a big deal and this guy almost you know clips his own front tire um on the back wheel in front of him um right there so already people are just riding a little sketchy and i just want space um, please like and subscribe again after this uh, video is going to be the vlog of the whole Chicago trip so stay tuned for that um, this is the downhill and it was really fun to take and actually this time I got a really good line I was able to get inside those guys um, I kept my speed pretty well it was immediately uphill which is why you can see the speed dropping like I said I have no power um, or cadence uh, those pedals wouldn't connect for whatever reason um, but what I should have done if I was really still mentally in this race is I would have really kept the power on um, that entire hill. You know, I, I did carry speed pretty well through it, but I slowed down. You see all these guys kept on the gas and uh, the amount of positions I lost just from not uh continuing to, to keep that power on those first five laps in any crit you really just anticipate yourself going you know well into the red um, it will slow down eventually um, I did a much better job there and and I think that's what happened so I mentally checked out and I was like look I'm not gonna really be in uh, contest for the front of this race so I'm gonna work on my cornering and that's what I did. I'm actually taking pretty good lines. Um, that one, a gap opened, but I think it's just because those guys hammered it out of there and I didn't. Um, but I'm carrying speed a little bit better. And that's going to be my focus for today. So, you know, when, look at this, I just shot right up into that guy. I didn't take that second one quite as good. I, I took the first corner at the best line but it kind of sacrificed the line for the second corner because um, those chicanes you really gotta plan is not always going to be the best line for one of them it's, you know plan to take the best line for both but you look at that i mean i had a lot more speed than this guy and um <laughs> i can't see my power so i was gonna say with little effort i was uh gonna pass him but but you know, obviously I was carrying more speed and then he's still going away from me. So it's just me not pushing hard enough afterwards. And again, just kind of a mental thing. Um, I think I honestly just like let these guys go and, uh, and then I just kind of settle in. I work on my cornering 
and then near the end of the race I kind of find a group that I decide to uh, race with and uh, try to beat those guys out of the group so we'll uh, let it play I mean there's this race is relatively short anyways because I only did six laps so but I guess keeping those guys kind of in view too is always a nice little carrot because you can um, not only look at your speed through the corners to see if you're taking them well at speed, but if you're gaining on guys um, in front of you, it's always a, a good way to just tell whether you're at least keeping the same pace or, you know, it's they maybe they're losing energy too and uh, their efforts dropping. So it's always a little hard to tell. But you can see this guy in the front of me is, is somewhat given up. Um, It was a really fun chicane. I mean, it's a fun course. I definitely gained a lot of space on on that guy through that corner, so I took that really well. I think when when I'm not in the bunch, I can take things really confidently. Um, but as soon as I get a whole bunch of people around me, 31 miles per hour on that. That was nice. And then this, you know, people are just punching it harder than me out of it um i really do wish i had the power on there to show but but yeah still was able to stay in front of those guys lap three is six so again this was the only race in intelligentsia that i did actually get pulled um so i stayed close enough to the front pack and all the other races to uh to do the same laps as them which was great i mean I, I don't know for my first time out there um and for not being super comfortable in the pack and probably doing more work than them uh chasing pretty much the entirety of my races um definitely strong enough to be with the group i uh i just need to get more confident take the lines I want to take even when there's people around me so will be definitely my goal for next season and uh, I'm so bummed that uh, the races at the lake uh, which are normally the early season crits that I can get to from Buffalo uh, that series is unfortunately canceled due to some construction in the park uh, where it's held normally so if you have any ideas of uh, crit series that might be in traveling distance um, or other races I should check out uh, relatively close to Buffalo, uh, leave it in the comments because I um, would really like to get the season started uh, with some, some crits if possible to get that feel for handling back up. Um, and Rattle was so much fun. I'm going to really miss that. We are sending it 33 miles per hour on there. I think that was probably the fastest that I took it. And it was nice having this guy in front of me because uh, he took it uh, pretty well and I was able to just kind of follow him. And um, I still took it even a little faster than him, shot up onto his wheel and was able to draft and then could pass. But it looks like he's he's losing steam quick. So let's see, he's dropping his head. It's always, you can tell when somebody loses motivation. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's, this is pretty much my race. Yeah, I catch a couple other guys, actually, um, on the last lap and, uh, you know, give it give it what I can. But, um, you know, stay tuned for that vlog because I'll get into really my entire takeaways of Intelligentsia Cup and uh, whether I will go back at some point. I'll let this play and... Maybe we can get some takeaways from the way that I, I corner here. But I appreciate you guys watching through the series. I know when I'm not going for the win, it might not be super interesting. But for me, it's all about seeing my progress. And I go back to some of the races I've done, um, you know, in my first year and last year. And uh, I've definitely made progress. Um and it, you know these this was just such a 
different style of racing and uh, different level of racing that I think I mentally um, reverted a little bit back to my first you know year of racing and I just didn't feel like I quite belonged um, which you know I watching this and realizing I'm strong enough and I can handle the, the corners uh, I realize that's bowl and I just need to know that I belong um, you know if you're putting the number on the same as anybody else you belong to be there um, so you might as well take advantage and race like it but uh, I think coming through this lap here um, the marshal comes out and says you know this is going to be our last one He's saying it's going to be a one to go for us. You know, obviously they, uh, <laughs> the rest of the race had more with these short courses and with the technicality of the of the courses. They they definitely don't want um, lapping to be going on and keep everybody safe. I totally get that. And uh, with ours being only half an hour, anyways, um, it's not like it's changing our race that much but you know i figure it's the the last lap i'm gonna act like this is my race right here and uh gonna let these guys just do some work and see if i can uh win out of the uh the three of us right here and honestly they don't ever look back so i don't even know if they knew that i was back here but it seemed like they were maybe working a little bit to uh, to keep their speed up and you know never really look to me to uh, to put in a pole or anything that was a really fun chicane I want to race this again <laughs> I feel a little bit more confident in my handling it was nice this was nice fresh pavement too because I guess at years past this was really um, choppy here which when you're Was pretty good definitely kept more speed than these guys Oop, can't lose get the inside there he closed it out you could hear I definitely put some power down I don't know if I got out of the saddle at all I'm gonna pick off this guy too but I definitely gave I well, my heart rate went up to 174 working there a little bit finish strong that's intelligentsia for you um that, that elgin was probably one of my favorite courses now looking back on it um and monday line on monday uh, i had a blast at as well so we'll see um stay tuned for that vlog and i appreciate you tuning in